When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to be tried of Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. Ye have brought this man unto me as one who perverteth the people. And behold, I have examined him before you, and I have found no fault with him, no nothing for which death is worthy. I will therefore chastise him and release him. Take him to be scourged. Now this is enough. Suffer. Please. And what is that to Please. us? Please. See thou And tonight. still they cry out for his blood with no compassion. For the feast I must release one prisoner. There's it all. I have betrayed him. Whom shall I release? There release are. Barabbas. Betrayed the innocent love. Oh, my Lord, how long till the blood of the his cross went forth into a place called Calvary, where they crucified him between two thieves. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And when Jesus saw his mother by the cross, and John standing by, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then to his disciple, Behold thy mother. that passed him reviled him, saying, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. Then, at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In that bitterest hour, 
His father had withdrawn the support of his immediate presence, leaving to the Savior of men the glory of complete victory over the forces of sin and death. Then Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, exclaimed in a loud voice, It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Then he bowed his head and voluntarily gave up his life. <laughs>